Usually I have better rants. It's not funny today. This is a sobering, dark game, post-game show. Because it's not like, the. I mean, like the last two times I came up here and we had a lot of fun, I was messing around about the Cardinals game and the Eagles game because it felt like the Niners were going to figure it out. They lost to the Cardinals. It was very much not like the Niners. Let's make fun of the Niners and they'll work it out. Then they lost to the Eagles. It's like, okay, let's really make fun of the Niners. And they'll come back focused. They don't lose twice in a row. Um, they're going to be okay. They're still going to go 12 and 4, 10 and 5. I mean, 11 and 5, something like that. Now it's like, you know what? This is who the Niners are. This is who the 2020 Niners are. Let's, what are the 20? What, what is the identity of the 2020 Niners? Let's, let's describe it. Team comes out flat. Head coach who has more excuses than ideas. Team that loses three players to injury every week. Uh, a team that doesn't commit to its run game. A team that can't keep their quarterbacks healthy. I mean, that's the, two, the 2020 49ers. The 2020 49ers are a team that's in such denial that they don't even realize the season's over yet. It's over. I mean, they can work hard and get back into it, but basically the season's over. And they still think that, what? They're on track. They've had some bad, they've had some, some miscues, some bad luck. They weren't prepared for this season. I don't know what else to say. Is it worth talking about Trent Williams? I mean, he stinks. But the whole team stinks. It must be a leadership thing. Trent Williams is better than that. McGlinchey stinks. He's better than that. Who doesn't stink on this team right now? Like four guys. It's got to be from the top. If you guys have any questions, I'm willing to answer them, but I just can't believe this. They miss Staley's leadership. Yeah. Well. Real quick. Um, Wisnowski doesn't stink. Okay, fair enough. Good for Wisnowski. Uh, the thing about Joe Staley, I mean, the Niners gave him his due as he left and he retired, but there was this giddiness around the team. Like, yo, we love Joe Staley and, you know, great career. All the best to him. We'll throw him a parade one day, but we got better at left tackle. Just between us, Staley was starting to lose it. And this Trent Williams guy is way better. Guys, Joe Staley is a, is one of the greatest 49ers of all time. And Trent Williams ain't. Trent Williams may have had a great career in Washington. But as a Niner, he can't carry Joe Staley's jockstrap. And I got to feel like watching that game, Joe Staley privately feels like, well, maybe you guys shouldn't have been so eager to see me retire. Maybe you guys should have asked me just a little nicer to come back. Because he's not that bad. I mean... I don't know. I saw Trent Williams a few years ago. He was great. Not now. So eager to get rid of Joe Staley. Remember Rich Eisen this offseason? He said the Niners had the best offseason of any team in the NFL. The best. Because they got Trent Williams and didn't lose anyone besides Buckner. Hey, Rich, you want to try that one again? I'm thinking the Niners didn't have the best offseason of any team in the NFL. I'm thinking they didn't. In fact, they might have had the worst offseason of any team in the NFL. They lied to themselves. They told themselves, we're the new Patriots. We're just going to be good because Kyle is the next Bill Belichick. We're just going to be good. Doesn't matter. Let's just keep it together. They broke the cardinal rule of football. You're either getting better or you're getting worse. You never stay the same. They know they didn't get better this offseason. They told themselves they stayed the same. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. You lost Buckner. You got worse. You lost Sanders. You got worse. They didn't realize how much worse they got. We don't even know how bad they are. They're not as good as the Dolphins. They're not as good as the Eagles. They're not as good as the Cardinals. Right now, we know they're better than two teams that have a combined 10 losses and zero wins. That's how good the Niners are right now. But can they beat the Rams next week? 
Maybe. Maybe. 